All right, so here I am in Eclipse. I have created a project called Example and added a class file to it, also called Example. Um, you'll notice my file name is example.java, and my class name over here is Example um, as well. Those two names do have to match for this to work, and they will automatically. Should you need to rename something later, you can always come over here and select the file and hit F2 and it'll let you rename. So let's say I wanted to give this my name header example and I wanted to update um, the references and I'll say finish and it will update everything for me. Um, if you do that yourself just right here changing the name it'll cause problems for you so don't do that. Okay, so every single program that you write is going to have to have um, this main method in it, and it looks like this public static void main string args. And it has a set of curly brackets. You'll notice that now I've got two sets of curly brackets going here. I've got the one that starts the class and one that closes it, and then I've got the one that starts the main method and one that closes it. Um, the majority of the code that you type is going to be inside here. What this main method um, means is for the computer when you execute your program it looks for that main method and it knows to start executing the code um, that you've written inside of it and it will execute it sequentially. So let's have this program do something. I want it to print to the screen so here's what that looks like. System.out.print let's have it say hello all right. When I want to run this and see what happens, I right click anywhere on my code and I say run as Java application, say OK, and down here in the console window it'll show me my output to the screen. OK, you may notice this line ends with a semicolon. Well this line is called a statement and any statement you write will end with a semicolon. It's sort of like the way you end a sentence with a period in English. Now I can write as many of these system.out.prints as I want and it will execute them in the order in which I write them. So let's have it right there to end my message. Let's see what happens if I try to execute this again. Right click run as Java application, OK. Oh look, it put the output from the second print statement directly next to the output from the first one. If I use system.out.print, it leaves the cursor off exactly at the end of the word, um, which is sometimes what I want and sometimes not. If I don't want that to happen, if I would like it to drop down to the next line after it's printed, I can change this command to print ln, which is short for line. Now if I've got print ln and I run this again, you'll notice after it printed the hello, it dropped the cursor down to the next line, and then when I printed the there, it appeared on that line afterwards, so they're no longer squished together. So these two lines I've printed so far have just printed exactly what I've typed and you'll notice that I surrounded what I typed inside quotation marks. Anytime you surround something in quotation marks like this it's called a string literal. But I don't have to do that. I can actually have Java perform some math for me. So let's see what happens if I just have it, um, let's say multiply two numbers, let's have it multiply 3 times 10. And let me run this and see what happens. Check it out, it did the math for me, so it has come up with 30. I can also combine these two things so that it prints a label and it prints out some math on the screen. So I can have it print something like 3 times 10 equals, let's see what happens if I run this, 
3 times 10 equals 30. So here's what we have to point out. Inside the quotes is actually the problem written out, right? 3 times 10 equals. If I put quotes around something, it prints exactly that thing on the console window, OK? If I don't surround something with quotes, and this is only true of numbers, it will do the math and give me out the answer, which is the 30. If I have more than one, I'm going to call them pieces, that I want to tack together, so I want to tack this piece and this piece out on the screen together, then I put this plus sign in between them, and it does this thing called concatenation, which just means stick two things together, and um, then I can output both of them on the same line and get the output that I have here.